Ryan may have experienced and knows from way back then mm -hmm. that he can tap into. Right. It ain't nothing he could have tapped into against Tank. Right. We hear whatever happens, happens. I got caught. It is what it is. But he's tasted the speed. He's, he's seen the speed. He's tasted the power from... The upcoming bout between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney has garnered significant attention, not just from the boxing community, but also from the mixed martial arts world. Several MMA professionals have come forward with their bold predictions, offering a unique perspective on this high-stakes match. Ryan Garcia, with his lightning-fast speed and devastating knockout power, has made a name for himself as one of the sport's most electrifying figures. His aggressive approach and flair for the dramatic have won him a legion of fans. Devin Haney, meanwhile, is known for his impeccable technique, ring intelligence, and disciplined boxing style. As the current WBC lightweight champion, Haney has proven himself to be a formidable strategist and technician in the ring. Quit. That's good. You okay. quit. You quit. The world see you take a knee and quit like a bitch. Yeah. Damn, stop. All right, all right. MMA fighters, accustomed to the multifaceted nature of combat sports, have provided varied insights into the fight. Many have analyzed the striking capabilities of both boxers, noting Garcia's power and Haney's ability to control the fight's tempo. Some predict that Garcia's power could lead to an early finish if he connects effectively, while others believe Haney's defensive skills and tactical approach will see him dominate the later rounds and secure a win on points. The mental aspect of the fight has also been a focus, with MMA professionals considering Garcia's well-documented struggles with anxiety against the backdrop of a high-pressure fight. Some speculate that this could impact his performance, while others argue it might have made him mentally tougher. Haney's psychological resilience and focus have been praised, but the unique pressures of this high-profile match present a new challenge for him as well. Endurance and conditioning are crucial in a fight expected to test both athletes' limits. Observers from the MMA world have noted that while Garcia's explosive style could lead to a quick victory, Haney's consistent performance and experience in longer bouts might give him the upper hand in a protracted battle. The ability to adapt and execute a strategic game plan is another area where MMA professionals have offered predictions. They recognize the importance of being able to adjust tactics mid-fight, a skill that could significantly impact the bout's outcome. There's a sense that Haney's adaptability and in-ring IQ could allow him to outsmart Garcia, though there's also speculation that Garcia's camp might have new strategies in store. Predictions from the MMA sector are divided. While some lean towards a dramatic knockout victory for Garcia, citing his undeniable power and ambition, others see Haney executing a masterclass in boxing to secure a unanimous decision. There's an understanding that anything can happen in the ring, with some even anticipating a draw or a surprise technical outcome that could shock the boxing world. In essence, the perspectives from MMA professionals add a rich layer of analysis to the impending clash between Garcia and Haney. Their backgrounds in a sport that demands versatility, resilience, and strategic acumen provide a well-rounded view of what promises to be an unforgettable fight. As anticipation builds, the insights from these fighters underscore the complexity and allure of the sweet science, highlighting the reasons this bout has captivated such a broad audience across the combat sports landscape. Adding fuel to the fire, a recent face-off and press conference in New York City unveiled a plethora of dramatic moments. In this video, we delve into the juicy drama that unfolded during the encounter. Ryan and Devin commenced a press journey to kickstart the promotion for their upcoming bout, All Eyes in NYC. The inaugural press conference was charged with tension, characterized by simmering animosity and an intense face-off. Garcia, embodying his moniker Kingry, made a grand entrance by perching on a regal golden throne. He seized the mic first, asserting, This is a pivotal moment for me. I aim for greatness and titles. Devin stands in my path, but I'm on a mission of vengeance. I assure you, I'm aiming straight for his jugular. 
Haney fired back at his opponent, confident that the upcoming bout would mirror Garcia's previous defeat against Javonta Davis. This event is bound to be explosive. We've witnessed Ryan's surrender in the ring before, and come April 20th, it won't be any different. Daz and I have staked our claim, and on that day, I'll be seizing the victory, he declared. As tensions flared, the fighters locked eyes in a tense face-off with Garcia's fiery reputation adding fuel to the verbal onslaught, punctuated by a flurry of profanities directed at Haney. His lively demeanor and assertive stance weren't just aimed at Haney alone, they also targeted Haney's entourage, revealing a profound hostility that surpassed mere competitive spirit. Garcia's behavior seemed calculated to unsettle Haney and throw off his mental focus ahead of the fight. In contrast, Devin Haney demonstrated admirable self-control in the face of Garcia's attempts to provoke him. Renowned for his calmness and strategic approach in the ring, Haney's response to Garcia's outburst was composed yet resolute. It showed that while he was open to engaging in psychological warfare, he wouldn't easily succumb to losing his cool. The interaction between the two fighters illuminated their distinct personalities and approaches to the sport, injecting an intriguing psychological dimension into the impending match. The tension escalated dramatically when the fathers of the fighters, Bill Haney and Henry Garcia, entered the fray with a heated verbal altercation of their own. This clash between the patriarchs of the Haney and Garcia clans introduced a familial aspect to the rivalry, suggesting that the bout transcended a mere personal contest between the boxers, evolving into a battle between two legacies, each laden with pride and heritage. The exchange between Bill Haney and Henry Garcia wasn't merely a footnote to the main event. It underscored the deeply rooted tensions and the high emotional stakes at play. The recent escalation of tensions during the press conference has significantly heightened the anticipation surrounding the Garcia versus Haney fight. Both fans and analysts find themselves not only pondering the physical prowess and boxing techniques of the fighters, but also delving into the psychological dimensions of the bout. The intense personal and familial dynamics at play have added a captivating layer of complexity to the match, rendering it a must-watch event for any sports enthusiast. The press conference, marked by dramatic confrontations and emotional outbursts, has effectively set the stage for a battle that transcends mere titles and rankings. It's a clash of personalities, styles, and legacies, with each side eager to assert its dominance not only in terms of boxing skill, but also in terms of mental resilience and determination. After the press conference, Devin Haney shared his perspective on Ryan Garcia's animated demeanor, suggesting that the boxing star appeared intoxicated throughout the event. Haney characterized Garcia as being drunk as a skunk during their initial encounter, expressing doubt about Garcia's commitment to the upcoming fight. Ryan was at the motherfucking press conference, drunk as a skunk, but, uh, drunk? <laughs> you know, uh, hopefully, you know, he, he get it together before yeah. April 20th, and uh, I'm gonna have him punch yeah. drunk on, the, on that day. Ryan has not changed since the amateurs. He's been fighting the same way. He's been, like, of course he got bigger, stronger, but he's if you look at his amateur fights, or old amateur fights, he was doing the same thing. So, uh, you know, I know how to beat Ryan. Um, even though our first fight was at, when he was at 10 years old, our last fight when we, was when we were like 16, he, he hasn't really changed much. Speaking to Fight Hub, Haney remarked, Ryan was at the press conference, drunk as a skunk. Hopefully he gets himself together before April 20th because on that day, I'll have him punch drunk. Haney also noted that Garcia's style hasn't evolved much since his days as an amateur, indicating his confidence in knowing how to defeat him. Although our initial clash occurred when we were just 10 years old, our most recent confrontation took place at 16. Despite the passage of time, it seems little has changed with him. Haney remains optimistic that Garcia will straighten out his affairs before their upcoming bout on April 20th. He's resolute in his determination to assert dominance over Garcia on that pivotal day. Furthermore, he underscores the significance of competing in New York, the epicenter of global media attention. Haney eagerly anticipates the event unfolding in the Big Apple, reveling in the extensive media coverage it promises. He acknowledges Garcia's attempts to negotiate a venue change to Las Vegas, but Haney swiftly dismisses this proposition due to conflicting schedules with another high-profile fight. 
insisting firmly that the showdown with Garcia must occur as planned in the heart of New York City. Throughout the interview, Haney exudes unwavering confidence, emphasizing his meticulous preparation and the paramount importance of the scheduled fight. He dares Garcia not to withdraw from the bout and to uphold their agreement to meet in New York. Haney also scrutinizes Garcia's inclination to relocate the fight, questioning the rationale behind altering a venue already poised to host a significant event in New York. Reflecting on their prior encounters in the amateur circuit, Haney observes that Garcia's fighting style remains largely unchanged. He boldly asserts his ability to triumph over Garcia, drawing upon their shared history of clashes in their amateur careers. The fear is getting to you. 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 I told you you're going to feel some fear, right? Didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell you you're going to feel some fear? You ain't felt that. No, no, no. In light of Garcia's flamboyant displays, like parading with a throne and pedals despite lacking a championship title, Haney subtly labels Garcia as Queen Rye, implying his belief that Garcia's theatrics are excessive and not fitting for a genuine champion. The conversation also delves into the prospect of a showdown between Haney and Gervonta Tank Davis, with Haney recognizing it as a distinct possibility. While he acknowledges Garcia's willingness to take on formidable opponents, including their impending clash, he hints that Garcia's primary drive may stem more from financial incentives than a genuine thirst for competitive challenges. Haney, in his dismissal of the notion of a trilogy with Garcia, exuded confidence in his imminent victory. He scrutinized Garcia's past performances, ridiculing his aspirations of battling UFC fighters and pop stars, which he attributed to Garcia's rumored alcohol intake. The press conference witnessed a noteworthy exchange between Garcia and Devon's promoter, Eddie Hearn. Hearn's excessive praise of Haney irked Garcia, prompting the boxer to finally speak up against the promoter's overt favoritism. Hearn suggested, I reckon he could be invincible, possibly one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the game. When you're as committed as he is, and you do things the right way. But before he could finish, Garcia interjected, Come on, Eddie. Quit with the exaggeration. That's just wild talk, man. Everyone's got weaknesses. Nobody's untouchable. Don't need to front, Eddie. We're cool. Garcia exuded confidence in his ability to take down Devin and wasn't about to be swayed by Hearn's rhetoric. Hearn, in turn, applauded Kingry for stepping up to face Devin, recognizing the immense opportunity for him to showcase his skills in this bout. A myriad of captivating moments unfolded during the New York press conference, these highlights have left fans on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the upcoming fight. Social media platforms are buzzing with predictions, with one user foreseeing a victorious Devin Haney through a unanimous decision. They speculated that Garcia's initial aggression would wane by the third round, ultimately leading to a Haney victory by decision. Others chimed in, unfazed by Kingry's warning for Devin, expressing readiness for the bout. Amidst the discourse, a single well-placed body shot emerged as a pivotal moment discussed in the aftermath of the press conference. Despite differing opinions, the prevailing sentiment among fans favors Garcia to emerge triumphant. However, speculation abounds regarding the outcome of a potential clash between these two fighters. Undoubtedly, this matchup stands as a pivotal moment in the junior welterweight division representing not only a collision between two young, ambitious fighters, but also a significant juncture in their respective careers. With Haney defending his junior welterweight championship and Garcia vying for his inaugural title shot, anticipation for this bout is at an all-time high. The upcoming match serves as a testament to the daring nature of both fighters, a quality not often witnessed in today's sporting realm. Devin Haney, already on the path to stardom, stands to reap not just financial rewards, but also a surge in prestige by squaring off against Ryan Garcia. Garcia, renowned for his ability to attract large audiences, provides Haney with an opportunity to further solidify his standing in the boxing community. On the flip side, Garcia confronts a formidable adversary in Haney, widely regarded as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters worldwide. 
This bout presents Garcia with a chance to showcase his medal and silence any doubts surrounding his ability to compete at the highest echelons of the sport. Tank, Tank is just too much like, he's, he's too much of a business oriented fighter. He's not taking that fight. What I think he thinks he'll lose that fight. Oh, I'm sorry. The way. He probably thinks he'll win, but I don't think. I don't. I didn't want to talk about it. He got cracked and then Tank took off on him. Was it a sequence of punches? Yeah, it was a lot of punches. The bout holds a captivating allure for several compelling reasons. Firstly, it presents a spectacle of two fighters boldly venturing into the fray, driven by the promise of financial rewards and the chance to elevate their careers, albeit amidst considerable peril. Secondly, it sets the stage for a clash between Garcia's explosive speed and raw power, and Haney's tactical finesse and strategic acumen. Haney's mastery of technique positions him as a formidable adversary at the pinnacle of the sport, posing a daunting challenge for Garcia, whose quest for championship belts or contention for titles has been thus far unfulfilled. The narrative surrounding Ryan Garcia has often revolved around his marketability rather than his pugilistic prowess. This fight offers him a platform to redefine that narrative and demonstrate that he is more than just a handsome face in the world of boxing. The dynamic history shared between Haney and Garcia adds an intricate layer of depth to their upcoming bout. Meeting each other in the ring on six separate occasions has created a balanced rivalry, with victories evenly split between them. It's evident that this professional match won't be a one-sided affair. Garcia's potent lead hook, in particular, presents a genuine challenge to Haney. Despite Haney's technical prowess, his past vulnerabilities suggest that Garcia's power could pose a significant threat. However, this fight transcends mere physical competition. It symbolizes something greater for the sport of boxing. It represents a clash between two young fighters in their prime, willing to confront each other at a crucial juncture in their careers. Rather than waiting for the twilight of their fighting days, both Haney and Garcia are seizing the moment to showcase their skills and determination. Excitement is reaching a fever pitch as fans and analysts eagerly await what promises to be a thrilling showdown. Both camps are predicting a closely contested battle, with opinions split on who will emerge victorious. The anticipation surrounding this fight is palpable, drawing attention from all corners of the boxing world. Roy Jones Jr. recently weighed in on the potential matchup between Haney and Ryan Garcia. He commended Haney's fearless approach, noting his willingness to step into the ring with any challenger. Jones sees shades of his own fighting spirit in Haney's attitude, admiring the young boxer's eagerness to take on all comers. He believes that Haney's mindset brings a refreshing energy to the sport, filling a void that has been felt by boxing enthusiasts. Be honest with you, you're only 23 years old, right? Right? He has time. Look at anybody, but you have to take your head off to that kid because he's one that's out there doing what, like what I used to do. He's fighting them all. He don't care who they are, where they are. If he get paid for it, he'll fight. Jones made it clear that he didn't have a specific preference regarding Haney's first opponent. He believed that any match involving Haney would be captivating due to his exceptional skills. Jones expressed confidence in Haney's ability to overcome any adversary. However, he noted that Gervonta Davis might pose a tougher challenge for Haney at this stage. Jones admitted his intrigue in witnessing a showdown between Haney and Davis before any potential match with other fighters. Jones also pondered about Haney's performance against Ryan Garcia, particularly in dealing with Garcia's left hook. He speculated that if Haney could face Garcia and outshine Davis's performance, it would pave the way for an eagerly anticipated bout between Haney and Davis. Jones's remarks echo his admiration for Haney's skills and his excitement for the upcoming challenges in Haney's career. Regarding Garcia, Jones highlighted the potency of Kingry's left hook as both a strength and a vulnerability. He noted that while Garcia's left hook is formidable, its predictability could pose difficulties against elite opponents unless he diversifies his arsenal or learns to conceal it better. In terms of forecasts, Mexican trainer Abel Sanchez confidently predicted Devin Haney's victory over Ryan Garcia, citing Haney's superior skill set and boxing prowess. Sanchez emphasized Haney's impressive performances against top-tier opponents like Jorge Linares, contrasting them with Garcia's struggles. 
He implied that Garcia's track record lacked the same level of excellence, suggesting that Haney holds a significant edge in their potential matchup. Sanchez openly criticized Garcia's adoption of the shoulder roll defense, contending that mastering it takes considerable time. He suggested that Garcia should focus on his inherent strengths, such as his hand speed and power. Despite acknowledging Garcia's potential, Sanchez firmly believed that Garcia lacked the necessary experience and skill to contend with elite fighters like Haney, Gervonta Davis, and Shakur Stevenson. Additionally, Sanchez emphasized the significance of proper career management for Garcia, underscoring the need for careful guidance to optimize his potential. He emphasized that Garcia still has much to learn and requires further experience before he can genuinely challenge the top contenders in his weight division. Sanchez's forecast stems from an intricate examination of the fighter's abilities and past performances. He asserts that Haney holds the upper hand over Garcia in a potential matchup. Notably, former pro and boxing analyst Sean Porter echoes similar sentiments. Porter's analysis of the Ryan Garcia vs. Devin Haney bout extends beyond mere prediction, delving into the nuanced dynamics at play rather than providing a straightforward forecast. Porter delves into the authenticity of the pre-fight exchanges between Garcia and Haney, hinting at doubt regarding the genuineness of their confrontation due to the scripted atmosphere of their meeting. He observes that although the energy between the two boxers felt sincere, the circumstances seemed contrived since both fighters were aware of their rendezvous and had their entourages present. That Ryan may have experienced and knows from way back then mm -hmm. that he can tap into. Right. It ain't nothing he could have tapped into against Tank. Right. We hear whatever happens, happens. I got caught. It is what it is. But... He's tasted the speed. He's, he's seen the speed. He's tasted the power from, from Devin. I think he's going to come to the ring comfortable against Devin, confident against Devin. He got Derrick James in the corner now. Mm -hmm. So they work in fundamentals and, and basics. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. I think that shoulder roll is not going to be there. If it, if it is, it's going to be cleaned up. Guess what? He got with Mayweather for a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Right. So I think he coming to the ring prepared. Mm -hmm. It ain't 50-50. Right. It's... It's 70-30. 75-25. 75-25 for Devin. Right. But don't be surprised if he able to push a button. Porter underscores the pivotal nature of actions within the boxing realm, highlighting that even a single punch thrown can potentially forfeit all that is at stake. He stresses the significance of upholding professionalism to prevent endangering the bout. Acknowledging the palpable energy and anticipation surrounding the fight, Porter suggests that if the fighters truly intended to confront each other, the focus should have been on promoting the event rather than a mere happenstance encounter related to the fight itself. In his analysis, Porter delves into the capabilities and recent performances of both fighters. He praises Garcia's adeptness in hyping a fight and his marketable persona, drawing a comparison to a fledgling golden boy. However, Porter also recalls Garcia's defeat against Gervonta Tank Davis, during which Garcia visibly struggled, raising doubts about his resilience and mental strength inside the ring. Porter's thoughts on Haney's bout against Vasily Lomachenko are a blend of uncertainty and acknowledgement. While he stops short of declaring Haney as the undisputed victor, he does commend Haney's impressive display in his most recent fight. As the discussion veers towards forecasting the Garcia vs. Haney match, Porter leans towards supporting Haney. He cites Haney's flawless track record and his personal inclination to support undefeated fighters until proven otherwise. The conversation then delves into the fighters' backgrounds, particularly their shared experiences in the amateur circuit. Porter reflects on how these past encounters might shape their upcoming professional showdown, he speculates that Garcia could draw confidence from their shared history, potentially leveraging past encounters to gain an advantage over Haney. While recognizing Haney's strengths in reach, speed, and footwork, Porter implies that Garcia's familiarity and confidence gained from their previous amateur bouts might heavily influence the outcome of the fight. Porter's analysis doesn't outright predict a winner, but instead presents a nuanced perspective on the fight's dynamics taking into account the fighters' backgrounds, recent performances, and the psychological elements of their rivalry. He leans towards Haney due to his undefeated record and recent form, 
but also acknowledges the potential for Garcia to exceed expectations by drawing upon his past encounters with Haney and his own progress in the ring. While fans and social media enthusiasts are rooting for Ryan Garcia to triumph over Devin Haney, the experts are leaning towards Devin claiming victory on April 20th. It's a fascinating dynamic to observe whether Devin can substantiate his standing in the junior welterweight division, particularly given his ambitions to emerge as the premier figure in boxing. The looming question remains, will Ryan Garcia meet the expectations of his supporters in this bout? Can he deliver a knockout blow to Devin the Dream Haney? Or will Haney maintain his unblemished record and adeptly defend his championship belts? As fight night approaches, the opinions of professionals and fighters add an intriguing layer to the narrative, blending perspectives from different realms of the combat sports world. Regardless of the outcome, one thing is clear. The Garcia vs. Haney fight has transcended the boundaries of boxing, captivating a broad spectrum of fight fans and professionals alike. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.